This video is an overview of the functionality available for the automotive service professional using the IEP Parts Network solution. Internet Auto Parts is the premier e-commerce provider of parts lookup and ordering for the service dealer. In this brief overview, I want to provide you with a quick understanding of the overall IEP solution. The IEP Parts Network, as shown here, typically starts with the entry of a vehicle. If the service dealer is using one of the many shop management systems that interface with the IEP solution, the vehicle may be transferred directly from the SMS. Given that there are a large number of SMSs that interface with IEP, not all of them work the same way on transferring the vehicle. However, once inside the IEP application, it works the same as what will be shown here. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will look at the application from using just a browser. What is currently being displayed is the home page. A quick overview of this page shows the most recent vehicles for which parts have been looked up. This box has a search box to make it easier to find a particular vehicle in the list. The columns in the recent vehicle list are also sortable by clicking on them. Then there is a section to enter a new vehicle, either via the power box or by selecting by entering the year, make, model, and engine. Note that YouTube videos are available for both entering a vehicle using the power box or by entering the year, make, model method. Finally, once a vehicle is entered, the service dealer can look up parts by searching on a part type, selecting from the quick pick list on the bottom right, or entering into one of the different methods in the Find Parts list by clicking on Quick List, Search, Catalog, Promotions, or Labor buttons. Depending on your system configuration at the parts distributor, your buttons may vary. Let's take a look at a quick example to see how easy it is to look up parts for a 2004 Honda CRV. Let's start by entering the vehicle using the YMME method. First, click on 2004. This brings up all of the 2004 makes. Click on Honda, and it brings up all of the valid 2004 Honda makes. Note that cars and trucks are displayed together in one selection box. After selecting the CRV, the system auto selects the engine since there was only one engine available for this particular vehicle. Once the vehicle is entered, the service dealer can elect to enter additional vehicle information. For now, let's assume we want to look up front brake pads and filters and then click begin. We will do this from the quick pick list at the bottom right. The service dealer is presented with a parts list page that shows 22 parts. In this example, the dealer sees his cost and availability within the seller network that the part distributor set up for this service dealer. A check mark indicates the part is available at that location. If by chance the check mark is hollow, then a partial quantity of that part is available at that location. There are three columns displayed to show the primary location for that service dealer, a network store or stores, and a distribution center or DC. The part distributor controls this seller network and the names for each location for each service dealer. To order parts, simply click on the order box next to the part that is to be ordered and click on Add to Quote. Let's pick a couple of parts. Once the parts have been selected, click the Add to Quote button. The dealer is then taken to a quote page where they can decide to save the quote print it, save as a recurring quote, etc. The dealer can also enter a quote description and provide a message to the seller if desired. If the distributor requires a purchase order, then enter it and click the send order button. So with a few simple mouse clicks, the dealer can enter a vehicle, use the quick pick list, 
get to a parts list page, select those parts, add to a quote, and send the order. Very simple and easy to use. Once the send order button is clicked, a confirmation message is returned to the service dealer that may be used for tracking purposes. Returning to the home page, let's take a quick look at some of the other functionality available for the service dealer. Before going into all of the functionality, it's probably a good time to mention that there are several other YouTube videos or newsletters available that discuss many of these different functions discreetly. For a complete list of what is available, go to the IEP website at www.iepshop.com and view the Resources tab. First, to clear the current vehicle, click the Clear Vehicle button. This allows a new vehicle to be entered. In the upper right hand corner is a quick summary of the current quote. In this case, there are three items with a cost of $50.46. There is also a drop down that allows the dealer to view the active quote, view saved or recurring quotes, start a new quote, and either save the existing quote or delete the existing quote. Now across the top, within the Parts tab, the dealer can select Find, which is where we are, or click on Manual Entry, Interchange, or Manage Vehicles. Manual entry may or may not allow the need to enter a manufacturing code based on the distribution platform. Some systems require the line codes, while others do not. There is a complete YouTube video on interchange. Manage vehicles allows the service dealer to remove vehicles from the recent vehicle list or add additional information about a specific vehicle. Finally, there are other interesting tabs that the dealer has access to for being able to look up and order parts. If the parts distributor has provided it, the Supplies tab brings up a list of non-application parts. This tab is controlled completely by the parts distributor. The Quotes tab can be used to review saved or recurring quotes. Saved quotes can be used to save a quote and recall to order the parts once the service dealer customer is given the go-ahead. Quotes can also be removed from this page as well if the dealer knows he's not going to get the work. There is a YouTube video on how to save and retrieve quotes. Recurring quotes can be used for stock orders or when the service dealer is involved in fleet management and wants to always order the same parts for specific jobs like oil changes or tune-ups. The Orders tab will provide complete information to the service dealer about electronic orders made. Each automotive service professional who is using the system can customize the system to a certain degree in terms of the way they want to view things. The My Profile tab allows the individual user to enter information about themselves or to set preferences. The preferences that they can control are which way the part is looked up, how many vehicles per page to show, how many quotes or orders to show on a page, what the default is for showing the dealer calls from the distributor, and whether they want the new vehicle view in the hot display on. Lastly, one user at each service dealer location is identified as the administrator. This person can add new users or remove users. So, in summary, the IP application is very intuitive for the service dealer and has a lot of different options for looking up and ordering parts from their parts supplier. There are several other YouTube videos and newsletters that help explain the different parts of the application. Be sure and check out the website www.iepshop.com for more information. Thanks and have a great day.